Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to everybody. Slide on into the afternoon, but it's 11.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, so that's why I'm saying good morning. Okay, but for those who are catching it on another time zone, good afternoon or good evening to you. Hope you have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Okay. Whenever you're viewing this video, all right, because that's all that it's about. You clicking in on my channel, you know where you have already clicked into. Ain't no sense of me keep telling you, Deb Chanel's 48th World, okay? You know what to do. That's right. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to me, to me, to me, to me, okay? And like my videos. And definitely share my videos if you feel you need to. Okay, I want you to because that'll give me more coverage. Okay, even if you don't subscribe to me, you can share my videos and then I'll get subscriptions other way. But either way, I love you in Christ Jesus. Okay, might not always agree with, agree with you, but it is what it is. You don't agree with me half the time either. You just watch my videos and see if we're like minded on this particular subject that I'm bringing out as a presentation feature. Okay, but we're going to get into Celebrity uh, Insider. They broke a little news on Candy Burris. Well, Candy Burris put the stuff out there first, and then Celebrity Insider capitalized on it. Yes, it's woe is Candy, woe is Candy, woe is Candy. Candy thinks she can take over the whole world these days. And I'm like, Candy, what's for you will be for you. Can't nobody add to it, can't nobody take away from it. So whatever adventure uh, or adventure or venture, I should say, business or venture you were trying to get your hands all locked up on. Maybe it was meant for somebody else's time. Maybe it was their season to shine. Maybe it was their blessing. Okay? Just like I said, whatever blessing is yours is held in your name, wrapped in a bow and ready to deliver to you is yours. It's not nobody else's. So don't get into the habit of think everything you put your hands on your or your sights to, you're going to get that. Because it may be something a little bit better for you than what you were trying to receive. Okay? So just take it for food of thought. Um, you're doing very well on the Real Housewives of Atlanta platform. Continue to grind in that. Uh, personally, I wish, really wish you would tell the directors or the executive producers to let Phaedra Pauls come back on, even if it's just of a friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you just don't know how lucrative that would be for your career and would probably uh, get you in better negotiations with higher funding for you being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm just saying, I see revenue coming with that and you getting a lot more viewership and people being on your side on the fact that Phaedra did do you wrong in a lot of aspects, you know, and that's just the way of the world. You're going to have a lot of people that tell lies on you and do things to you that you know aren't true. And you can't defend yourself on every last one of them. You could try, but just as a losing battle, you know what I'm saying? Only people that are around you and know your character and know how you get down in those streets and behind closed doors would be able to defend you and uplift you. Okay. And God knows himself what kind of uh, seed he's planted in you that no woman or man can take away from you because he instilled it. So, you know, don't worry about all that. You have a good platform. However you spend it, however you want yourself to be looked upon, when you come out and give us your demeanor and your take on whatever you're going through in whatever particular episode, it just is what it is. But I'm just saying, honey, if you want to draw more people uh, to view you and whatever you and Phaedra may get into, you know, it, it, it's good drama. It's just it's good drama. And, hey, you might be taking Nene's seat on the highest paid uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, you could come Ace Bucoon. I don't think you would last long because, you you know, you, you just pretty much, I don't know what your character is right now. I mean, I know you're there to give and start drama here and there, but you're not like a major, major player. But I like you. You know, you give me what you can give me, and that's cool. Okay? But... Um, you would definitely prevail with Portia and, and Phaedra there and you going back and forth, but you probably wouldn't dust off or, 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 or kind of go in too hard on Portia because y'all done made amends and you, you know, you tell us so much about her boyfriends and, and, and potential suitors and potential fiancés. <laughs> That's enough to just pay you for the rest of your uh, time on this particular season okay you keep that very well locked down so you know you you do good on that that uh part of drama 
uh, mindless drama for us to partake of doing whatever season you're in. You do that real well. See, it just gives you another outlet. See, Phaedra could be there and you could just be dogging her, dogging her, dogging her, bringing out all of her her misfortunes or how she practiced law and this, that, and third, if you really want to get into it, you know what I'm saying? Since she spilled your tea, you might always spill hers, you know what I'm saying? That this gives us, you know, it's a lot more uh for us to um uh, appetize, gives us us appetizers to come in and, and sit at your table and, and let you tell us whatever you want to tell us. Uh, and of course, us being YouTube uh, creator containers, we can bring it out and give us our spin on how we uh, looked at what you was giving us and our perspective on what's really, really going on. Because right now, the tease in my head is just, you don't want to give Phaedra no money. <laughs> you don't want Phaedra to make no money. Because you know she probably ain't doing so well in her attorney uh, at law uh, business. And we ain't heard nothing for she putting a lot of people to rest in her own mortuary company. Only thing we see her in is trying to stay on social media with what flavor of a bow she's pursuing this month, which is totally irrelevant. Don't really want to see her kids because they should definitely be kept off of social media unless they're doing their darn thing positively in the community. Then yes, let's give them ups on that. But you know, she's pimping out herself. She's pimping out her kids just to get attention. She's thirsty. You're correct in that. She loves, she's been bitten by the entertainment bug and nothing can satisfy her as far as her career. She's just stagnant in her career and she's not liking it. She wants to be on TV. She wants people adoring her, you know, uh, whatever. Okay, but I'm like, Phaedra, you're too educated to be continuously wanting to do drama TV. But we see that's what you're trying to do. And evidently, you must need uh, permission from Candy for Bravo to even consider bringing you back on. Because of the lawsuits and litigations Candy could probably bring. But I'm like, Candy, come on now. You basically done sat and uh, did the whole dungeon tour across the 52 states i'm guessing okay and maybe it's the chitlin circuit i don't know because i'm not into that type of entertainment so you would never catch me at one of your shows all right however uh a lot of people do gravitate to that type of lifestyle and that entertainment so you will capture a lot of people uh coming to you that's like-minded in that way however candy uh <laughs> I'm just saying, basically, baby. Let the woman back in, if it ain't nothing but to be Nene's friend. And then tear her up on camera, okay? Get all your just do that you want to say, that you can say when you're on different other platforms uh, and social media or you're visiting some talk show and they may ask, well, how are you and Phaedra faring and this, that, and And, you know, you get a chance to throw your digs at her. And then when she goes on to these different uh, talk shows, they ask about uh, you to her and of course she goes on to say whatever she feel like she want to say so to just get it on a sitcom show where we can see several episodes that would be more rewarding for you i'm sure when you're sitting at that bargaining table at the end of each season and you can put down and say hey i had these people view uh in when we had this part with phaedra parks okay uh, we don't want you to get her no money, extra money, and making no bargaining chips on that because we're letting her back into this arena, okay? But she's going to be shown a small favor, okay? To let everybody know, hey, I ain't hate to her making no money, okay? But I'm going to make the majority of it because it's my story and I'm going to write it as long as she's going to be appearing on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend cast, okay? She ain't never going to get a peach, okay? Let's put that in writing. Never going to get a peach because of her past actions, okay? The things that she took towards me, and I didn't get litigation on y'all behinds, okay? Or her, but I know she ain't got nothing. But we can capitalize on what she's going to get if we put her back in print, <laughs> And true entertainment to be filming. Okay, I can't get resi uh, uh, residuals from that behind the scenes because you know I'm not petty, but I don't, I don't forget easily. I forgive, but you're still not gonna eat at my table without cost. Okay, all right, and then I can make reference the reason why you're here. <laughs> Like Nene, we said she the OG. No candy. You can become the OG GG, okay? With the benefits to match where it, it would have no comparison to what Nene Lee's doing. Because, you know, you got uh, age on your side. You're a little bit younger. You seem like you're a good business person when it comes to making money the quick, fast, and a hurry way, okay? So you can invest in other ventures and be a full 500 winner later on in 
uh, the years to come. Okay, the women's edition. <laughs> Go ahead, make your money, can I'm trying to throw you a bone of information. And if it ever comes to pass, remember Deb Chanel's 48th world. You know, put me on to some of your people. Uh, far as you know, growing my membership, all right, and we could do private interviews because we ain't trying to get no show, uh uh, because I ain't got time to be up there, you know, trying to sign my life away in blood and all of this when I know I am the princess of a real living and live king, Jesus Christ, okay? We can't float with the other entity, all right? So, basically, what I am trying to say is I am going to give you a spill of entertainment news written by Celebrity Insider about Candy Burris and her woes. Yes, it was written by an insider uh, employee, a journalist. His article goes as thus. All right. It says Candy Burris shows fans a video which makes her feel better following a huge disappointment. Now, she don't give us insight. Now, that was the title of his article. Again, let's give props up to Ron Collins. Okay. He works for the Slimmer Insider. I don't know if he's a freelancer or he's a permanent staff member uh, positioning on their team. Okay. Uh, it was broken off Pacific Standard Time on yesterday, August the 10th. All right, but it just came through my social media feed today. All right, but that was his title. But my pun intended, because, you know, I do get my sidebars. Candy was just trying to ink a deal or do more uh uh, enlisting in her portfolio of more things she can accomplish. And evidently a feat that she tried to embark on didn't go the way she wanted it to go. Uh, I don't know if it just didn't pan out or the negotiation she was trying to get for us. Her perks didn't pan out. Either way, it fell through the cracks. Okay. But like I said, Candy, whatever your blessing uh, from whatever Lord you serve, because I don't know if we're on the same team or what Lords we serve, but if in clean spirit of everything on 1000. If it's meant for you, girl, it's going to be for you. Maybe that was not meant for you uh, at this time. Maybe it was meant for somebody else, okay, to get their blessing because the world don't just surround around you. We have other people that need blessings and they need to be embarked on their endeavors and shine, okay? Every, the light can't shine on you all the time, Candy. So be thankful for what you have. Continue to do what you do. And I'm sure you'll get more rewards. Okay. But moving back on to this article, it uh, goes into the article itself. It says, Candy Burris told fans that she was not the happiest uh, these days, but a specific video made her feel better. Check out the video which she shared with her followers on her social media account. So, you know, y'all know Candy's account, honey. And if you don't know it, let me give it to you right now. Uh, let's see where it is. Where is it, Lord? Uh oh, I oh, don't know. I can't find it, guys. Okay, but I think it's Candy Burris. No, it's Candy K A N D I. So go on her Instagram account, Candy, her name, first name K A N D I, and uh, get your feel on. She is. She also has a video on her Instagram account with her trying to twerk, do the wine. Uh, like those, uh, what do you call it, Persian women or uh, Indian, not Indian women, uh, uh, Hawaiian women, I should say. They they started with that little, oh, it might have been a Persian woman. I don't know either way. It was an exotic land over there, but I'm going to say Hawaii because they always did that belly dancing thing. And then, you know, maybe the Persian women started getting it where it was a little bit more enticing when Beyonce and, uh, what's that girl name? She was with, dog, I can't think of her name. She did a video with her. Start with a K, maybe. Oh, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, the exotic lady who used to belly roll with uh, Kiara. Not Kiara. Uh, Dad, I probably think of it after the video has been published to you all. Uh, see, no, I don't want to see her. God, now, what was the person that I probably know who I'm talking about? I can't think of it right now, but she did the little belly winding dance. She has her own career going too, and her and Beyonce uh, collaborated on something, but uh, yeah. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. She said, uh, picking back up on the article, said, I was a little sad earlier today because something I wanted really bad didn't work out. But then I looked at this video and it made me smile again. I have too many blessings to let one thing get me down. I told you, girl, you better preach it into fruition. You can't always attain some things because some things are just not for you, whether you want it or not. They ain't going to be. Okay. You might be looking at a blessing in the sky that you didn't get that particular uh, venture you wanted. All right. But that was my point intended. Getting back to the article. 
Uh, I had, uh, oh, well, I'm going to shake it off and dance through the weekend with a smile on my face. Enjoying, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Candy captured her video. And again, that's on uh, Candy's Instagram account, K-A-N-D-I, uh, where she has 6.7 million followers at this time. So go on, join her uh, band, sign up for her accounts, and continue to see the food, the food of Richie gives y'all and the jewels she drops from time to time but at the time uh, if you go into her video she's trying to whine or do that Persian belly dance thing and we all know Candy can't dance we know but Todd love all her seductive ways Candy can do that Candy dungeon thing she was doing she can sex talk okay that Candy coated nights thing she be doing so she's more into that sexual scene and she does it very well. She puts on a great production from what I hear. Okay, and I did some clips where I uh, Googled her name and Dungeon and it did show some very provocative, seductive type moves she was getting into. But like I said, that's her energy and she flows real well in that segment of entertainment. Okay. So, but she's all dressed up, all cute in her little uh, tutu. That's what I usually call them when they're in that Caribbean lifestyle and trying like Mardi Gras and dress up for the festivals or whatever going on. They're in Tor Toronto, Canada, and they they are enjoying themselves at their carnival. Okay, they're getting down. But you know what I said about them little skimpy outfits? Are y'all protecting y'all with JJ down there? Are y'all putting like on a pad or something? Because I don't know, unless that, that outfit was tailored to fit you and you got to dry clean. I wouldn't be wearing my bare behind like I'm coming in the world butt naked and, and slipping on that little thing. Uh-uh. I had to have some panty liners or something because you can get a, a very nasty infection, I would think. But I'm sure y'all forethought that out. And the, the costumes were made specifically for you all. And y'all had that sanitized real good. Uh, and even in the breast part, because, you know, we can catch them little breast diseases, too. We break it out your breast. You have to cut your whole breast off. You know what I'm saying? Third world countries, y'all be buying that. Uh, we I should say we, including myself, uh, outfits that be coming from China and all these other places, Indonesia, uh, Honduras. You you don't know, and I don't think they actually wash the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they do, but not good enough. So that's why uh, a lot of people do wash their clothes, even though they go take them off the rack in these designable places, uh, as well as just regular uh, mom and pop stores and uh, places. Uh, that's chain stores like Ross, Macy's, um, what other store? JC Penney's, uh, Kmart, Walmart, you know, stuff like that. You, you, you still, even though they look fresh and clean, clean, probably smell clean, clean too. Uh, unless you actually see those things that come in after they've been delivered in Detroit and you unpack them, you see how they're laid out, it would behoove you to wash your clothes. Even though I know you want that little, uh fresh clean looking uh attire but it, it, you know be safe and sorry it's cool i mean don't get me wrong i have definitely put on some clothes and wore them without even thinking about uh washing them first and then putting them on my body you know what i'm saying because the dirt you know our body ain't never dirt anyway but you know we are susceptible to different agents or uh, 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 processing dyes and we do get uh, broken out or we get too sensitive to the uh, garments and they do in a sense break us out. So I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying if you want to wash your clothes, it would be in perfect harmony that you do so and everything would be fresh. But if you don't, you know, just pray about it. Keep it moving. And, you know, hopefully you are washing your clothes after that one wear. Okay. And not that you stink or anything, but just, you know, to get your body uh, older as well as the odors that were already in or the dyes that were in prior to you washing it. Okay. So make that as a good practice. But you use your own conscience to how you're going to wear your items when you first purchase them. Okay. But uh, getting back to the article that was my spiel we're gonna go into uh where candy had wrote actually on her instagram account which is basically what she was saying it's no need for me to read read it again because after i'm reading it it's the same thing i've already presented to you all verbally okay so uh it goes back to say rashida frost was on her instagram account uh she goes and said it wasn't meant to be God will bless you with what is yours. So don't be discouraged. Okay, now see, that's what I just said. And I hadn't even read the article because usually I don't read the article. I may glance at the titles like, oh, okay, that's what I want to. Ah, okay, let me just write down a person's name so I can get them props uh, from 
uh, putting it out on social media uh, on behalf of the company they work for, I like give celebrity or whatever social media uh, their shout outs from where I got the content. So yeah, I write those two things down and then I go on into the article, give y'all my opinion uh, just from reading the title. And then we both, meaning you and uh, my uh, viewers, we read or I read and I present it to you out live and in color at the same time. And then when I go through certain uh, paragraphs in the article that was written, I stop and give my opinions. So that's how we get down. I read it with you all the first go around and then I make my assumptions, okay, or my perspective <coughs> on what I'm reading, okay. So uh, Rashida Frost was a good friend. She just told her how it is and how her perspective was on the issue. She may, may know a little bit more what Candy was trying to achieve, uh, but being a friend, she ain't blast out. Say, girl, just because you didn't get that modeling career job, don't worry about it. You know, maybe it ain't your time or maybe you shouldn't even be in that format. Stick with what you know and make it work. OK, everybody can't do everything. You know, some people make design of clothes. Some people uh, start and open up restaurants. Some people uh, make their own blogging site, you know, and, and, and do what they feel comfortable in doing and making it bigger and better, you know, for the consumer. Because that's what it really counts. If the consumer is not buying your product, they're not buying into what you're putting out there, then there's a problem. <laughs> OK, you might not need to be an entrepreneur. You might need to go and work for somebody. You know, there's always choices, but we have to uh, make the best choice for our family or our life that we want to dwell in. OK, and I always put God first because, you know, he was set and direct your path on the correct way. But that was my my pun intended. Moving back on, I'm dropping jewels. Get them where you can, okay? Fit in where you can get in, okay? Uh, goes back to the article. It says, someone else told Candy, friend, you are everything, in all caps, and everything is you. All right, I like that, honey. Speak it into fruition. It says, just because you don't have it now doesn't mean you won't have it in God's perfect timing. He's simply giving you time to prepare Keep celebrating and claiming it beautifully. Okay, then another fan got out there and said, thank you for that caption. I felt the same after an audition I didn't get yesterday that I really wanted to book. Okay, she's uplifting and uh, giving people motivation to go on. You know, you accept your failures. You accept the disappointments. And it makes you a better person. It just lets you know it's somebody else's season. It's somebody else's time to receive something. Okay? Maybe they've been waiting on it. Everybody, ain't, you ain't going to get everything. Now, you ain't going to get every little thing that's set out there that your heart desire. Okay? And another thing, just, you know, speaking back on that, you know, you wanted a man. You wanted this, that, and a third. That's another reason to bring Phaedra back on. Okay? Because she did introduce you to Todd. Because evidently, you and him did not spark each other's attention or maybe y'all was doing it y'all was just being very coy and y'all was going to miss out on each other love so hey phaser was instrumental if nothing else that she uh brought into fruition into your life or maybe god used her to um and i say maybe because i don't know i can't speak for the lord and his actions but maybe he used phaser as a vessel to put y'all two together so, you know, don't always throw total salt on a person. Did they have some good points that like that you like that kept you with them? OK, so, you know, give a props up for that if nothing else. Because like I said, you took that lemon she told you and you made several glasses of sweet lemonade. OK, so uh, I'm just saying, Candy, forgive, forget, move on or uh, forgive and move on if you can't forget. <laughs> Okay, we're getting back to the article. It says someone else posted, at least you get to see us in a few days. We can't wait to see you and each other. Six days left. All right. Another follower said, God avoided that move for a reason. You will find out later, and sometimes we may not find out, but that avoidance is a part of your success journey. A successful journey, I guess. You got this, okay? And I already don't spoke that before I even read this article, did I? Okay, did I prophesy God? Did I pray? Did the Lord use me as a vessel or what? All right, but I'm just saying. Moving on, another person posted. It's probably a blessing in disguise. Trust your angels. They got you covered, okay? In other news, Candy invited her pal Kiki over for her show called Speak on It, and fans were really uh, excited. Candy shared a photo of Kiki visiting Old Lady Game restaurant as well. 
Okay, and that was pretty much it. But, you know, Candy, like I said, everything is not going to be for you, even though you want it like yesterday. Okay, uh, just because you could, you put good vibes out there, you think everything you touch is supposed to turn to gold in your favor. That's not true, baby. That's not true. And your mama should have told you that, but it is, is what it is. I ain't going to throw Mama Joyce in now because I'm sure she did the best she could with raising you. And you definitely have reigned on her as well with blessings. So, that's all I have for this story. If anything, Candy uh, dropped some gems down. And she showed you in her humility, uh, humility way that she don't get everything she set out for as well. But it's not going to stop her from still pushing forward. Okay? And then, like I said, sometimes she can look back and it will be shown to her why she did not get that wonderful opportunity that she thought was a wonderful opportunity. Okay? We well, probably came with a lot of drama mess and something she didn't even want to be bothered with. But, you know, hey, she dodged a bullet. That's how we're going to look at it. But y'all enjoy this video. Share and definitely like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos. Okay, at least I'll do one of them, okay? <laughs> I do all three and please me, all right? But either or, however you feel, I enjoy bringing this video, this commentary to you all by Ron Collins, the author of this particular article and celebrity insider for sharing the information with us. Okay, so we can have something to talk about with you all. All right, be blessed. I'll come back with you hopefully for another video. I'm not really sure it's Sunday. I still got a few more things I need to do in my personal life. But hey, if I do, uh, express enough time and interest and energy to come out and make edit and present it to you all I would do so but if not hey we got Monday God willing I'll be back with more celebrity news from different entities and my perspective perspective on it thanks guys blessings and have a beautiful Sunday bye bye